Hey, what's going on, Pick Factor? I'm Liddell Betts, filling in today for LeVar Arrington, and I'm breaking down the conference championship games for this weekend. Our first matchup is San Francisco and Atlanta. Uh, let's talk about San Francisco first. Um, this team is really hot right now. I mean, they're playing with a guy by the name of Colin Kaepernick. I'm sure most of you heard him heard of him by now. But I have to backtrack a second. I know when they first made this decision to start Colin Kaepernick, I was one of the ones that was pretty critical of uh, Coach Harbaugh about this decision. Not because I question the talent, but more so because I question the timing of the situation. Um, but as time went by, you know, I'm starting to grow fond of the move. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a highly dynamic player. He moves the ball very effectively. I mean, he's a human highlight film waiting to happen. So I, I like that aspect of what the San Francisco 49ers bring to this game. Then you have Frank Gore in the backfield with them. So they have a pretty vicious uh, run game, you know, to, to stack up against the Atlanta Falcons defense. Then you look at some of the receivers, you know, a little bit to be desired there, but Crabtree's having arguably his best year. Uh, you know, he's looking like a solid pro now. And, of course, they have Vernon Davis, the all-pro tight end. Now, if you look at their defense, this is where their bread and butter is really made. I mean, they have one of the top defenses in the National Football League, um, led by Patrick Willis. Uh, they have one of the best premier pass rushers in the game, guys young, Alden Smith, you know, the captain of the defense, uh, with uh, Justin Smith up front as well. And then you have Carlos Rogers in the back and Navarro Bowman. I mean, the list goes on and on. These guys are very good on defense. So that's pretty much how they look uh, as far as the 49ers go. Now let's take a look at the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, on the other hand, are not as balanced as the 49ers in terms of offense and defense. They're more skewed to the, towards the offense. Now, Matt Ryan, to me, has established himself as a top-tier elite quarterback in, this, in the football, National Football League. Um, I mean, he's continued to put up solid numbers year after year, and now he's got very formidable weapons on the outside, and Roddy White, Julio Jones, and, of course, control in the middle of the field is the ageless wonder, Tony Gonzalez. So I like their offense a lot. Where they do lack a little bit is in the run game. You know, Turner's not the same as he once was. The trade is starting to wear a little bit on tires, but, they, but they're starting to implement uh, Jacquez Rogers into the offense as well. So they look pretty good. Now, on defense... They don't have all the big names that San Francisco has, but these guys do a good job of scheming. You know, they, they uh, rely more on bending but not breaking and, and, and uh, getting turnovers. So I, I like them over there. I like uh, John Abraham coming off the edge, and it looks like he's going to play this week. I like Asante Samuel in the back, in the, uh, on the back end, the Wiley veteran making plays. So I, I, I really do like, surprisingly, Atlanta Falcons to win this game. Home field advantage. I know a lot of people looking at the 49ers thinking they win, but my pick is uh, Atlanta Falcons for this one. Now, for the second matchup, we have the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. Sound familiar? Once again, they're back playing each other, trying to get to the Super Bowl. Now, let's talk about Baltimore first. Baltimore is led by Flacco, who, to me, he gets a lot of uh, criticism that he doesn't deserve. I think he's a very solid player. I wouldn't consider him quite elite yet, but I think he's solid and a guy you can build a team around. Now you have Ray Rice behind him carrying the ball, who I think is one of the best backs in, in the football league. You know, he's, he does everything. He blocks, he catches, uh, he does it all. And then uh, you look at some of the receivers, Anquan Bowling, good, strong possession receiver, capable of making big plays. And you have Torrey Smith on the outside, who has emerged as a, as a huge big play threat for them. And then you look on the other side of their team in, this, in, in the defense, and everyone is uh, probably more familiar with the Boston Ravens because of defense. But make no mistake about it. This is Ray Lewis's last run. We all know the career he's had. He's a Hall of Fame player, no doubt. But I have to be honest, this is not Ray Lewis or the Baltimore Ravens defense that won the Super Bowl years ago. They are very formidable, but this is not the same defense. So while I think they stand a good chance, this is not the same team that they were when they won the Super Bowl. Now let's take a look at the Patriots. The Patriots, to me, are the model of consistency in the football, in National Football League. I mean, they've been here year in and year out. You have a Hall of Fame coach, a Hall of Fame quarterback. Two things that never changed for that team, Tom Brady and Coach Belichick. They're consistently in the playoffs and consistently challenging for the Super Bowl every year. I like Tom Brady in this matchup because Tom Brady's been here. He's looking at trying to get to the Super Bowl for a sixth time. Uh, he's got his weapons. He's got Brandon Lloyd, Wes Welker. I know Gronk is out, but Hernandez is, is, is very good as well. So I, I don't expect them to slip very much in the offensive category just because Gronk's out. Now on defense, uh, not, not necessarily their strong suit, but they're much better than they were last year. You have to remember, they made it to the, to the Super Bowl last year 
with the worst defense in the National Football League. So while they're a little bit more improved, but they're still not great, that gives them a better chance of getting back there this year. Now, Baltimore won when they played early this season. But mind you, that was within, like, what, first six weeks of the season? That, that's not the same team anymore as, in terms of New England Patriots. So my pick for this one is New England Patriots to get back to the Super Bowl for the sixth time and for Tom Brady to do make a stake for uh, best quarterback in the National Football League again. So those are my picks. I'm Liddell Betts. If you want to see how you stack up against the rest of the experts, log on to pickfactor.com and check out and see how you stack up.